just a few minute segment on what this is about. Drag this down here. First off, you're coming here because you need a dictionary. You really don't feel like paying for one. Second, you're here because you feel like hacking someone with Backtrack or some other hacking program. And thirdly, you're just here because you are here. Don't worry, but tube will always be what it is. Besides, it's where you pick up some really good stuff anyways. Well, let's start. I'm going to begin by showing you my source code to the main batch file. Um, I called it the ultimate keygen file creator. I know, modest name, right? So, here's what the whole menu looks like. It tells you what it does, give credit to what credit is due, da 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 da, and I am getting off track here. Let me close this, and I will show you my source code. Edit. And there we go. This is an open source. Feel free to edit it, but give credit. And as you can see, nothing primarily interesting. Just a bunch of stuff. Oh, and some little thing about Kiwi. As uh, we all know, he is the one who originally came out with the idea for the phone number dictionary. Now, I want to make clear here that his phone number dictionary is a lot more accurate in keeping track of, I shouldn't say numbers, but keeping track of percent wise how much needs to be done. My program does not do that and you're kind of left waiting there until the file pretty much closes. I will show you what I mean by that. Let's go over here and close this. So. All right, I'm going to start this, and the beauty of all this is, oh darn it, all right, hold on, alright, I'm going to press 9, no, that's 0, what's wrong with me, computer illiterate, alright, this will create a phone number dictionary, press enter, now it'll tell you what the area code is, in my case, I have a 9 for 9 area code, don't be searching for me now, I plug that in and as you can see nothing pops up it just left sitting there idle and do not close the program because then you will completely shut off your dictionary startup or dictionary creation I don't know if you want to call it but anyway it's an actual dictionary not here that's after it's done but it's in the key file section as you can see the phone number is actually growing it's now 1 megabyte, it's now 1.9 megabyte, now 1.12, I know it's 1.09, sorry. I know you're going to correct me on that. And it's growing. So, uh, right here, I will close this, and I will show you what this other file is. This right here is what creates the actual dictionary file. Uh, let me just clear up something first because I really do not want to get this deleted. I already have a lot of stuff on here, so I'm just going to add one to this, so that way it doesn't, just for temporary purposes. But this right here is what creates the dictionary file. Double click on that, and as you can see, it's now taking all the files and converting it into one giant big file. See? Now you have Dictionary Ultimate. This is the er, this is the original one, and this is the new one. This is the one that shows all the phone numbers in it. And amazingly, it goes in order. Now let me show you exactly what else is in here, along with some of the other fun stuff. Uh, yeah, I called it Qion or Qion Keygen. I add an exe there because I felt like being awesome that way. Not really. I, I didn't. I was originally trying to try and make an executable file, but that never happened, so I just left it at that. So, anyways, as you can see, there are a bunch of named bat files in here. You can play around with them. Just be warned that if you screw up the coding in in them, you're just gonna have to go back to Mediafire and uh, download them. So I'm going to click on this one, and as you can see, it is scrolling a bunch of random characters down the screen. And here's the phone number, bat file. 
thankfully, it also asks you what the phone number area code is. So I will type in 1-800, just to be funny about it. And it will actually do 1-800 numbers. Not that anyone ever put 1-800 numbers in their WPA code, because that's just weird. Hey, but you never know. And there are some other ones in here, like the 32-bit character codes, and it scrolls down. I know there's some that are not actually 32 bit character. There is a bug in the code and I really don't feel like fixing it. And here's another 32 bit character code, but this time it is just alpha numbers. Or I mean alpha num alpha uh, excuse me. They are just alphabetical letters. Now I've been trying to create a dictionary that can create words, but this is getting into the more difficult side of batch file creating because when you go into the source code I have a car a character set of just the whole alphabet I'm not gonna confuse you with all the details but if I want to make more words like uh, say for example um, Alex I'd have to put in more A's more E's and uh, like all the A E I O U vowels and stuff like that they're gonna have to be more of them and like s's possibly more s's and stuff like that and i'm gonna have to set my length set higher or something like that i'm not gonna confuse you on that but anyways a lot of options here i also have a few files over here in the 217 am thing these are actually beta tested files they are very old some of them run pretty fast while others run excruciatingly slow. This was because of the way the actual program is written. As you can see, it is very, very short, but the way it's set up is terrible. So I took the time to just delete that and put that in a place where it could possibly never be seen. You could go ahead and play around with those, I don't really care. Just uh, be warned to not add them to the actual batch files that are right here. So anyways, Back to where I was saying. Let's see what else I have in here. As you can know, da, 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 da. told you about that. Oh, yes, told you about that. Please, please, don't make this your own program. I spent a lot of time on this, and I don't want people stealing my credit. I showed you how it worked. I gave you a general look at what the menu looked like. And, uh, yes, here's the catch. Um, TV has a loading bar on his dictionary file. Mine does not, so you'll be left there waiting and pretty much guessing. My suggestion to you is to actually open this program and let it run for a whole night. Actually, a good idea would be to actually if run all nine of these. The star was originally an idea of mine where I take it and it runs all of them automatically, but that never actually happened. I'll show you the source code inside right here this is a beta part of the file it might not work feel free to try and figure it out anyways it does not work I tried to get them all to activate but that never happened because of the way the wacky way of I, how I made it so everything is entirely random da, 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 da. Uh, and that's pretty much it um, Hope you enjoy. I will send it up onto Mediafire and you guys can download it. Um, thanks for watching.